going to show you how to make this cute little bath mat today. It's made with three different towels. It's made with this, totally with the serger. And if you come over to my blog, I'll give you all the directions on how to make it. And it also makes a really nice gift if you need something quick to make. So let's go ahead and get started. To start this bath mat, I chose three different towels, bath towels is what I got, and usually I can find them in uh, a discount store, or something. usually for right around $5 each, so this is going to cost me $15, but it really makes a nice bath mat, and it's really cute. So I picked three sort of coordinating colors, uh, you don't have to use three, you could use two, uh, you could use more than three, and um, I, I need 40 squares and I cut them six inches by seven inches. So I have two towels cut out, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the third towel. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cut off these two edges. With my rotary cutter, just cut off that sewn edge. Okay, I cut off all four of those uh, funny edges, and what I'm gonna do now my ruler is exactly six inches wide, so I'm just going to put that on there. Uh, you can cut this either with scissors or you can use the uh, rotary cutter and your, your cutting ruler. And I'm just going to slice this down. I'm going to go all the way down my towel. a little time. This terry cloth is a little funny. You can also just buy terry cloth at the store, but when I tried to do that, I couldn't seem to find the same quality. It didn't seem to be as thick as sometimes you can get these towels. Okay, and now I'll just take these. There'll actually be two here because I have it. It's doubled. And then I'll just cut those off at seven inches. Doesn't take very long. This is a very fast project. Okay, I think you kind of get the idea here how this is done. And you want to do this with all three towels. And actually, um, I need 13, 13, and one pile will have to have 14 just to make things come out even. As you can see, I laid out for the first side my 20 squares, and I just kind of did a little pattern on them out of the three different towels. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just serge them together. I'm using my Janome CompuLock. I have it set up up for an overlock four stitch and we're going to use a new foot today and this is just a guide to put on the CompuLock and this is what it looks like it just helps you put your material through evenly has a little hook here and that just slides right on this screw and you just screw that on And then you can set that up. You can set that to where you want it to go through your machine. I'm going to have that catch my material so it's sewing right on the edge of it. I really don't want to force all of that terry cloth through the knife because it is really thick. So I'm just going to have it. So that's why I'm using the guide just so it goes right before that knife. Or you could just go ahead and put the knife down. That might even be easier. Okay, now there is a little screw on that guide. Just so you can, right here's the screw, just so you can adjust that to exactly where you want that, your material to slide through there. I'm going to 
finish my last piece of this row. Just following that guy. Not really cutting anything off. Now I have the first row finished. I have all of these sewed together and I'm just going to continue doing my other three rows and then we'll sew them horizontally together. Now I'm sewing my vertical rows together basically about the same way. Now what I did do is on these edges that I'm sewing together since I did put my knife down I did trim off those uh, tails, thread tails on there so we didn't have to mess with those. Now when you do come to a seam, put one edge in one direction and reach underneath and put the other one in the other direction. That just will help cut down on some of the bulk. And remember, if your bottom row is coming out a little longer than your top row, go ahead and increase your differential feed. I usually just crank it up to about 2.3 until it, it evens things out and then I bring it back down to where it should be at 1.0. Okay, we'll go ahead and finish this. And I am going to change my differential feed because my last square here is a little bit longer so I'm going to turn that up all the way to 2.3 or 2.2 I'm sorry and I'm going to let it pull in that extra little edge there and now that it has even things out now I'm going to take it back down to 1.0 where it should be And we have that all finished here. All these squares have been hooked together. And we'll go ahead and do the other side, the bottom side, the exact same way, and then we'll hook the two sides together. Now I have both sides of the bath mat finished. And what I'm doing here is, first of all, I went ahead and just surged on each panel, the front and the back. I sewed a two a two square section. I just surged it because we're going to have to leave an opening when we sew this together to be able to turn it right side out and you'll have to sew that by hand so that way you know it's going to give it a little more support in the wash machine that it's not going to unravel while it's washing. I did that on both sides and then as you can see I went ahead and I've already started to hook these two together just I ran a seam down one side and now I'm just finishing up the sides here. I have this finished now where I sewed around all four sides. Uh, here's the opening that I left. It's about two squares and I went ahead and I just surged those edges just so uh, when I sew that again it has a little protection there. Now all we have to do is turn it right side out and when and I did also kind of look through all my seams and make sure that uh, everything got sewed and there's no little holes anywhere because it's a whole lot easier to fix it now than it is after you have it all put together because then you'd have to sew it by hand so just look it over real good then we can turn it right side out and just uh, have to do a little hand stitching there but once you throw this in the washer and dryer again, it fluffs up really nice and puffy. All your seams will look good. That's really cute, isn't it? I hope you like it. Hope you can see that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.